All right, as we mentioned earlier, our first responders are being recognized at the rodeo tonight, and there's a lot more happening around NRG today as well. Our Matthew Seedorf joining us live now where he's getting ready to watch some pigs hit the track. Yeah, Rashi, Jonathan, we were out in the carnival for pig racing. To be honest, I've never experienced this before, but this is where it all happens. The pigs are getting ready. They're in their crates. There's going to be four pigs racing down here any second, and the crowd is anxiously waiting. We got parts of the crowd cheering for pig one, pig two, pig three. What are we thinking, everyone? And pig four. And uh, the pigs at the end of the day are racing for, believe it or not, an Oreo cookie. So we just spoke with the swine master out here. Here's what he had to say about the pig racing. So tell us about the pig racing. What can we expect? Sure, sure, absolutely. So we uh, it's a family fun show, fun for everybody of all ages. You can come out, watch our pigs race around. We do three heats of four pigs each, so that's 12 racing pigs. And, of course, our swimming pig, Swifty the Swimming Pig. <laughs> I'm anticipating a whole lot of excitement. Uh, how do you motivate the pigs to, to race? Well, initially, you know, they're, they're food motivated. We drop a little food on the track, get them running a little bit, you know, further down the track. But at the end of the line, once they eventually get it down, they're racing for an Oreo cookie. And I think we'd all race for an Oreo cookie. I totally get that. I mean, I would do anything for rodeos. It makes a, a Oreo, so it makes sense that a pig yeah. would. Do you guys have odds on pigs? Do you have favorite pigs to win? We do on occasion. Sometimes there's a, a certain pig that tends to win every single race, and that's that's the benefit of coming to multiple shows. Multiple shows throughout the day. We do seven here at the Houston Rodeo. So if you come to multiple shows, you might see a pig continue to win, and you might want to sit in that section and be that cheerleader for that pig on a later on race. And a little bit of inside edge there, a little inside track for you. We're near the carnival. It smells like bacon. Do the pigs have a problem with that? I, no, I don't have a problem with it. I hope they don't have a problem with it. I don't think they do. I, th I think they're very smart animals, but let's hope they're not that smart. Yeah. All right, so if the pigs don't have a problem with smelling bacon from the carnival, then I don't think any of us have a problem with it. The pigs getting ready here. They have the Oreos set, and everyone has picked their favorite pigs. And you can tell they're trying to cheer them on. We got section one, two, three, and section four for the pigs. A whole lot of excitement for pig racing. It's about to start. The anticipation's building. I don't know if we're going to have time to get it. I'm trying here. But, uh, yeah, lots of excitement for pig racing at the Houston Rodeo. I'll go ahead and send it back to you.